you will average about maybe 1100 plus and depending on where you at you'll take home it's going to be about maybe about a grand to maybe 900 all right don't quote me on this now this is only this is just ballparking because i don't know how much you're going to make when you get here i'm where she's gone wonder if she's gone to stay Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't no home Just consider this an open invitation for anybody who thinks that they cold enough to replace me. My shit's doper than cocaine in the 80s. I'm a sick fuck snatching your gold chain just to hang you. Throw propane on the flames to the go bang cause I hate you. Then I light a couple candles and go pray you don't make it. They say I got a big ego. It's so strange and inflated. I'm an asshole when I'm drunk drinking Jose on vacation. I might remix every beat cause I don't pay. I just take them. All these rappers sucking dick now. Hoping to make them famous. But sorry it's not contagious. You're corny. You're fucking basic. You're adorable but please stop toying with my patience. Like what you gonna do when it's do or die dog. Blood diamonds on my wrist. That's a suicide watch I'll be pulling right up on you like an Uber driver And I'll murder you where you stand with a suit and tie on Take your wallet, iPod, and your shoes and drive off Got a crew of diehards and they'll shoot a five bar Got an AK-47 on the hood of my car Going pucka 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 till there's blood on my tires This song's really just for whom it concerns I'm out here killing everybody like that movie The Purge I'm crude and absurd, these dudes are in a mood to get murked Cause if you fucking with me then you must be stupid for sure I'm the teacher, motherfucker, today you gonna learn They want smoke, well I'm a hookah, that means you could get burned They just reaching for the clout now like who wanna work? It's pretty sad what these dudes are probably do for a verse. I got heavy on you. What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Lockout being in the truck right quick. Just wanna just wanna make this a uh, quick video right quick, man. Just got off the phone with my man Darius. Shout out to you, bruh. Thanks for uh, reaching out. He emailed me, he asked me about JNR Swoogle. You know what I'm saying? And that it, and like I said before, if you guys have any questions or anything like that or comments or anything like that be sure to holler at me shoot me an email lockoutmen at gmail.com uh shoot me your phone number and I'll, I'll holler at you i don't have no problem talking at you chopping it up you know what i'm saying that's what i do that's what i do but he, he emailed me and uh i called him back a few minutes ago and he was asking me about jan or Schwugel. And let me tell you guys, see, unlike other YouTubers, I'm not sugarcoating my company. I don't do that. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to I'm going to try to give you the raw, the 100% real information that you want if you want to know about my particular company. How fair is that if I keep telling you guys to go and do your research about other companies and give you some BS about mine you know what i'm saying look look at here let me tell you let me tell you all right it's not about it's not about the reference the referral bonus because a lot of these youtubers out here when they talk about their companies and all like that that's the reason why they talk about their companies because they want the referral bonus now we youtubers will reach a lot of people that's looking for whatever company that they're looking for and they'll turn around and say yeah i work for us express yeah i work for stevens transport yeah i work for this yeah i work for that and then they'll turn around and be like well this company is great that company is great this that and the third i'm not doing that i don't do that i'm not going to start doing that Yes, I do get a referral bonus for anybody that refers me uh, at you uh, at uh, JNR Schwoogle. All right, but I'm going to tell you my experience with JNR Schwoogle is my experience. All right, and I'm only going to tell you from my point of view. So realize when you when you go and do your research with these companies, I tell you the the 
to do your research by going on Indeed, uh, uh, Glassdoor, and read the reviews. You know what I'm saying? Now, of course, you're going to hear a lot of company drivers or past company drivers. They're going to always talk about, you know, what they like and what they don't like. And they'll probably be like, well, you know, JNR Shrugal is this, US Express is that, and this, that, and the third. But think of it this way, just like I told Darius. It's like your favorite movie, right? Let's take uh, Avengers Infinity War. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad, bad synopsis. My fault. That was a good movie, though. Let's take Batman v Superman. All of the other credits could turn around and be like, oh, that movie was garbage. That movie, that movie sucked. This, that, and the third. It didn't follow the, it didn't follow the protocol. It didn't do this. It didn't do that. But when you, 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 when you go see the movie, and you watch it, you'll be like, huh, I don't know, that was a good movie. That was, that was a good movie to me. It's just like when you go to these companies, just like that, just like that. I'm going to give you the raw, the real, and the, and the infinite if you want to know about uh, J&R Swoogle. I, I don't want you to come in, I, I'm not trying to get you in and 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 get my referral bonus i'm not doing that you know what i'm saying i'm not doing that i'm going to let you know what you want to know well in your opinion lockout man what do you think i'm only going to give you my opinion from my point of view now you can't really express yourself in my opinion and I, I i hope that makes sense if it does good but what i'm saying is the experience with jnr swoogle i have is my experience and lord knows i have my own problems with jnr swoogle you guys seen it you guys know that my truck broke down you guys know that i was i, I held on the walmart load for three days you guys know that I was stuck at a shipper for 28 hours. Y'all know my struggles with uh, J&R Swoogle, but those are my struggles and my experience. It's like I told Darius in the phone call that I had with him. You know, he wanted to know, uh, is that, do they force you to, uh, do they force you, what do he say, do they force you to... To, to lease no no they don't they, they don't force you to lease they don't force you to lease at all uh, if you want to lease it's available but just know when you're leasing it's going to be a little bit more headaches all right he also asked me about the miles and i told him about the miles look you guys know I, my mouse was crappy in the last couple of uh, couple of weeks. You're not going to get the golden mouse every week. You just not. You just not going to get the golden mouse every week. One week you're going to do good, and the following week you may do. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But overall, overall the breakdown is like this. Here's the breakdown. All right. So if you work seven days a week, and I'm saying if you're running dedicated or regional, because if you run in OTR, you pretty much work in seven days a week anyway. But this is dedicated and regional. So if you just work in seven days a week, you're going to average about 3,000, maybe more miles. Okay. If you work five days a week, you you want to average somewhere around maybe twenty to twenty five hundred miles. All right. So here's the. He also asked me to break it down. So here's the breakdown. And yo, don't 
I'm ballparking here. I'm spitballing. So don't come up in my comments talking about, yo, that's some ugly stuff. I don't want that. That's ugly. That's, but that's your opinion, of course. But I'm just giving you the breakdown. Now, listen, everybody don't make the same amount. All right. If you're a new guy, you're not going to make as much as I'm making. As you know, I've been here before. I got a couple of raises up under my belt, plus the P3 incentive, plus my my initial bonus. I'm, I'm not saying sign on bonus no more. I'm just going to say incentive bonus. All right. But the breakdown in in ballparking like this, if you do about three thousand plus, you will average about maybe eleven hundred plus and depending on where you at your take home it's going to be about maybe about a grand to maybe 900 all right don't quote me on this now this is only this is just ballparking because i don't know how much you're going to make when you get here i don't know how many miles you're going to do when you get here so i'm just ballparking now just hear me out hear me out now, if you do about uh, about twenty five hundred, that's gonna be about maybe nine hundred ish, eight hundred ish. All right. And if you do about fifteen, that's definitely gonna be in the low end. Now, what you want to do, you want to do about twenty five to thirty. That's that's what you want to do. You want to do that. 15 is for people that's that only want to work part time. Anything below that, you ain't making no money. All right. And anything below that, you just want to, I guess, moving on, moving on. All right. So he also asked me about the insurance. Now, listen, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The insurance sucks, all right? It sucks for a family. If, if, if you're a single, if you're a single guy, single female, then the insurance is not gonna be that bad. But if you have a family of maybe three or more, then yeah, the, the insurance is, it's, it's up there. It's up there for you guys. But as I told Darius, it depends on the mouse that you do too. Now, if you're a type of person that don't have no responsibilities like child support, you know what I'm saying? Uh, garnishments or anything like that, and you do about 3,000 miles a week and you average about maybe $1,200 a month, then that money that's coming out for the insurance ain't gonna hurt your pocket. The insurance comes out every week, all right? And that was a, that was the other question. What what other questions my man had for me? He, um, he's a new driver. Uh, he did say that uh, he tried with Super Service, got turned down with Super Service, but got picked back up with J and R Schroeder. That's you know, that's what happened to me, bro. I, I, I called Super Service about a year, year and a half ago before I got with JNR Swoogle. I did call them. And they turned me down too. It was like, no, nah, we can't use you. You can't, nah, blah, blah, blah. But then when I found out JNR Swoogle brought out Super Service, everybody in my in the Facebook wanted me to make a call to them. Everybody. You know, I was like, nah, man, because everything I'm telling you about JNR Swoogle, you pretty much gonna find out from one of JNR Swoogle's uh, recruiters. He also asked me about the recruiter. Now, look, I wanna tell you the same thing, just like I tell you in my videos, the Make the Call videos. Remember, season three, January 2019. Remember that. Um, all right, so here it is. 
90%, maybe 80, maybe 85. But it, it, the higher echelon, they, they, they gonna tell you what you wanna hear, pretty much. That's what they all do. Sometimes you hit them with the hard questions and they'll be like kind of stumped because they got to go and ask somebody or try to find out that answer. That's that's how you know. When you start asking the hard questions, the canned questions like what type of equipment I'm driving or what's the truck covering that, CPM, home time, those are all canned questions. You ask some questions like, like like the hard questions I asked, those are the questions you want to ask. Whether or not they can answer it, we don't know until we actually talk to them. Some of them don't even want to answer the question. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, Cuddy. I'm just saying. Uh, but yeah, talking with my man Darius today, shout out to you, bruh. Thank you for the support, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, good luck on your journey. Welcome to Team Shrugal. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to Team Shrugal. Uh, when you get on, you're going to probably go down to Ohio and hit up my man, uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, make sure you take care of this man, all right? I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though. All right, y'all. All right, that's about it. it. It was on my mind. I wanted to hurry up and get it on the video just in case I forget. Um, but thank you very much for riding with me again, Locked Out Men. Make sure y'all hook a brother up with some coffee. I'm telling you, man, coffee. Or just hook a brother up on this channel, PayPal. Coffee, preferably, though. Black. No sugar, no cream. My, my fault. <laughs> Yo, again, if you guys want to holler at your boy, man, y'all want to talk to me, y'all want to chop it up, hit me up in my email, lockoutmen at gmail.com. Uh, hit me up in my Instagram, lockoutmen at IG. Uh, shoot me a phone number or something like that. Y'all want to talk to me, I'll call you up and holler at you. Now, am I going to do a call in show? I doubt it. <laughs> I'll leave that for the other YouTube truckers to keep that going. But uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I really do appreciate it. But I got to get out of here. I got 80 miles to go to my shutdown. And then I will get to work on some editing because I got a lot of videos to edit. I'm out. You guys take it easy, man. Y'all, I'm, I'm gone, man. I'm, I'm gone. Peace. Hey, go pro. Go pro. Go pro. Turn off. Y'all see how that worked? GoPro didn't even want to turn off. Go pro, turn off. Who gon' buy it at? Cause baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back but you gon' have to settle with another man But when you realize, don't be running back Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone